Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. It's Sunday, and Sunday is new week, new game. This is where I pick a game from my Steam library, or any other place, that I've never played before, and we play it. But since this is October, all the games that we play on Sunday are going to be spooky horror games, or at least in the horror genre. And today's game is Amanda the Adventurer. I have seen other YouTubers play Amanda the Adventurer, so I kind of know what to expect from this game, but it still looked interesting, and it still looked pretty fun. So when I found a bundle that had it included in it, I definitely was glad that I got it and added it to the folder to play for New Week New Game at some point. And now that it's October, I figured this would be the perfect time to play it. Now some of you may be looking at this and going, Kyle, oh, this just looks like a kid's point-and-click game. It's not. If you thought that this was going to be something kind of childish, you're going to be sorely mistaken and kind of disappointed. However, it has that feel to it, so I can see why you would think that. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. Oh, and uh, you may also think too that the games that I've been playing this far haven't been spooky. They haven't been scary. What kind of October is this? All the games that I'm playing are part of the horror genre, and they do have a psychological or some type of horror aspect to them. Just haven't gotten to the good parts yet. Also, for Sunday, I decided to save some of the best for Sundays. So let's get this started. Do that so it focuses back up. And we start. Dear Riley, if you are reading this, it means you won't see me again. Unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there's still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes. To say goodbye, and to bequeath to you my house in Kinsdale. This next part may be a mistake, and gods forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. All right, it looks like we have some what we'll be using. I don't know what control's going to be used for. The game uses an autosave feature. It looks like we may already be in an attic. It's a clock. Click on any of these. Go back. Oh, it's a back arrow. Looks like there's a few things around here that require. Can I move this? I can. There's a safe. A little piano. The robot. Now, although I have watched other YouTubers play this game, and I get that some of these things are used for certain things, I have completely forgotten what everything does. So, let's put the tape in. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. 
what's your favorite kind of pie? Pumpkin. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Um, Today, pizza. we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apple. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Knife. Good job! We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate! Ha <laughs> ha! That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the apple. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Let's try the pantry. Nope, try again. Click the right thing. Yeah. Don't you want to help me? Sure. This pantry. So where's the sugar? Where'd the uh, refrigerator go? Ah, uh, this pantry up here. Great! Let's make a pie. Hmm. <laughs> can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Oh. Okay. It's, TV. it's time to bake a pie. First. Preheat the oven to 425... I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willie, let's have some pie! Well, alright then. Oh, hey. There happens to be an oven right here. Some fruit. This apple. And a tin. This down, temperature, to 425, put that in there, for 40 minutes, close, and we get a tape, we baked a pie, pie gives us tape, anything else around here, there's another apple right here, that's a peach. That does look like a peach. It's what Wooly's favorite was, wasn't it? Let's go get that tape. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? Nothing. That's great! I like Good. that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. So Today, body I want to send something special sidewalk. to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? It's right there. <laughs> That's not the store, silly. That is the store. It says store on it. Yeah. Store. I'm kind of in a hurry here. Where are all these outlines coming from? Alright, I guess it's Good this one. job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Hmm. This one. Do you think that's what they need? Yeah. One. What do you say when someone helps you? What happens if I just choose nothing? 
fool me. Wait! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. This one Where not can your I friend. buy a treat for my friend? Post office. Wow, your friends must love your treats from the post office. Get them stamps. Everybody needs stamps. I hope all the treats are stale by the time we get there. Can you show me where to go? That one? Pretty sure it was that one. I guess we gotta go here. Good job! Let's go get that tree! Mmm. Everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? Right there. I don't think my friend will like that. Who wouldn't like cake? Come on. I can't mail that to my friend. Can just get a big box. I want the cookies. Fine. Get a throw temper Those tantrum. Those look so tasty. We just have one more stop in the neighborhood. The package is ready for my friend. They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Needs to go to... Rat. No, that's not my friend's name. Oh. Beth? You have to know their name. I don't. Uh. Till Seth. Great work! Oh. Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. Oh, I just realized it typed it out no matter what button I pressed. It's like I don't remember hitting K. I didn't. I was trying to spell Seth. Amp. So what's up with this? to know what the words are or what the letters are must have been a hint in that other tape Clues around here. Try again. Huh? C. 
CBF. Just gonna. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! My friend helped me when I. Great! I found. Good job! Let's. Those look so tasty! We just have. Great work! Now we can send this to my friend! CB. There we go. Beethoven in training. Made a song. And now we get the next tape. Oh, it's you. Yep. Whatever you do, don't. Know so what? Oh no! Wooly had an accident! An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault! Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground, you can get hurt almost everywhere! At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell! I... I didn't try. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Parents? I don't think they can help. Uh, police? Don't you want to help, Wooly? Uh, can help. Doctor? Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Uh, hmm, doctor. Which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Clearly a mouth doctor. I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. Yeah, what about a heart doctor? Wooly's in a lot of pain. Well, then back to the mouth doctor. Please help me get to the right doctor. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going to- The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? Let's do the scale. No, silly. <laughs> Something on the scale? What's that? The heart monitor. I'm scared. What should we use? The heart? Hmm. So That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bone! Switch it over to three. She say forty five. It's when will he hurt himself? See other clocks here too. Let's see, when they were standing in the hospital, I noticed the clock there. It's 
2250 was the time when they were in the doctor's office. 2200 is 10. Well, there's only one. There's the other hand. Is there another hand somewhere? I said 2255. Maybe if I just move it here, it'll be good enough. That doesn't look like it. There's gotta be another one of these around here somewhere. Twenty two hundred is this, yeah. Let's go see that again then. If you got the time wrong. That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bump! Twenty two hundred, not ten. This is fifty. Want me to go all the way around? That's twenty three. I know this is fifty, yeah, thirty, thirty five, forty, fifty. 
fifty. So that would be there. Hmm. Is this not marked right? Maybe it is, and I don't have to actually let it spin like the other ones. Ten fifty PM. Ten fifty PM. That's what that is. So but now there's something I'm missing. Could try the other times. symbols on them too. No idea what any of this means. Oh, I've got that set to 1055 and it was 1050. So now what?
Hmm. Maybe it's the certain clocks have to do that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Should I try it again? Maybe certain clocks have to have certain times. Oh, it's you. Whatever you do, don't. It <laughs> oh no! Wooly had an accident! An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I... I didn't try. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. So that looks like the first clock. That looks like the clock on the wall. Find the right doctor to help Wooly. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. And that's a digital. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how. That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bone. You know what I'm thinking? The time that this gave me. 5:15. Let's put that here. There we go. On the clock. Safe eight two six. Safe is currently a cardboard box. But I'll have to remember that next time. And I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic! What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Person. Oh, I don't like that at all. Mm. It's Amanda, an acquired taste. What's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. I don't know, Wooly. You're right! It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? No, that looks fine. It's Are you. Are you doing this on purpose? Pretty positive it's you. What is making that bad smell? One of these organs laying about. You, you're right. This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. Mm -hmm. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? A uh, cream. Look at the tree Ram. stump. If it's Ram. not alive, what is it? It's Todd. I don't think we should be talking about this. So. Uh, Dad's. Are you afraid to think about it? Kiss. Kiss. That's yeah. right. The tree stump is dead. dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job. Plants can die if they don't get enough light or water. Mm. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picture. Animals can die in different ways, too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. That fox what do shoot you himself? think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? It was you. You were Wooly. Probably the knife. I don't think that was it. 
Must have been the gun. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. Yeah. What killed him? Silly self must use a knife. Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? It's a gun. It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Huh. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Hmm. Sometimes I feel myself riding. But it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not True. asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Alright. Um. Never. Why won't you answer my question? You have to tell me. you want to be my friend? Please, answer my question. I think it might Just say be yes. too late. What's that sound? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Gruesome in. You mean a violent end? Look, we got a sticker for it. And then we can con continue. Just continuing. Six two. It was eight two six. Red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac, yellow, purple, pale, pink. Then this, which looks like a pause button. Does that go on the TV? It does. So now I guess we can pause the videos. Let's do this. How long have we been playing for? About 30 minutes. Going on 40 minutes, actually. Uh, so essentially there are multiple endings to this story, this game. And you can find all the different endings by doing different things. Kind of like how there at the end, after we open up the clock, we got the combination for the safe. We weren't able to access the safe because it turned into cardboard. And then by the time we finish the last video, it's when Amanda comes and gets us. So, uh, yeah. There's multiple endings to this game. You can go through and do different things, such as something with the plant here as well. This has some type of correspondence that, uh, I'm not really sure what it all means. Or where it goes. 
uh, something with the doll, I'm sure it does something with the mushroom. Uh, there's also different ways of just having different outcomes. Like, I guess we could probably take that peach and then do the cooking one. And put the peach instead of the apple and see what happens. Maybe that'll do something different. Let's try that before we go. That sounds delicious. That it does. Uh, Ozzy. We can't use that. Oh. Adult. We can't use that. Okay. Hands. We can't use that. No. No. Just Good maybe job. take a knife. We can. Uh, what are we trying to do here? Nope, try again. So we're fighting Hey, sure. let's make a pie. Hmm, can you smell the apple? All right. Then after we watch that, this appears. If we want to do that, 425, 30 minutes, but instead we go over here, we grab the peach. Put the peach in here. This in here. Close it. Not that pie. Try to make a peach pie, which gives us this orange tape. What does the orange tape do? Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom holds my treat money. Well, I'm come on, Lauren. We have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I have. <laughs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Then we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> you know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I want to capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own Everything okay? Lauren? Mmm, I love mint chocolate chip. Okay. So there you have it. A little something different to add to the lore. That is... Uh, Amanda. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Then. I'll just go ahead and end it here. There you have it. That has been Amanda the Adventurer. It has, like, jump scares, spookies. Like, when the monster comes to attack, that's supposed to be the, ah, uh, scary moment. It's not so much as, it's just got kind of that uh, kitty feel mixed with that dark to it. So it, it's nice. I like that it does something like that. To take something that's like innocent and not spooky at all and then try to make a creepy twist on it. Those are always little fun things. Like that uh, show on Netflix, Happy, where you've got uh, X police detective who's just an insane man and he's got an imaginary friend that belongs to his daughter who helps him fight crime and solve what's going on with this children's TV show. It's dark, it's funny, it's my kind of humor. And I'm sure as we go on doing this kind of stuff there's a lot of dark humor mixed in here as well. Anyways, that is gonna do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.